Hello everyone, Lady De Winter here, and today I want to talk to you about crocheting tips and tricks. Okay, now, there's a lot of ways to do things in crochet, but some of them can cost a little bit of money. You know, uh, not everybody can afford to run out and buy expensive crochet equipment. Some of us are poor. <laughs> I'm one. So, I found some tips and tricks to help me with my crocheting. But first, tip that I'm going to give you today is I'm going to put my cards aside and I got to get my coffee out of the way. But get yourself a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or whatever your favorite drink is and let's talk crochet. So first tip I'm going to show you is this. I almost fell off the chair. This is a file tub. Now I need to get the lid because I forgot to get the lid. But here's one of the lids. Okay, as you see, it's got a handle in it, and it fits on top like so, and you can clamp it shut, and it's very, very secure. This is actually a hanging file folder tub. You can put hanging file folders in here and basically, you know, store your files. I use it for my crocheting, as you can see. This is one of my project boxes. I have a project box for each project I'm working on. And something else I will show you, I'll take my lid off. I store the needle that I'm working in, in each of my tubs. I have a needle in there right now in a project I'm working on. And so that needle and the instructions are in the tub. Now, that makes life easy because you don't have to look all over the house for your little crochet instructions and your needles and try to remember what needle you're using because you have your needle right in your tub, right here in your tub. That's another tub that I'm using for crochet. Now I'm gonna take that needle out because I wanna show you something else about crocheting. Something else about these tubs. In the tub, you can actually stand up Let's see, one, two, three, about six, maybe eight skeins of yarn. See how they're standing? Yeah, six or eight skeins of yarn. You can pull your little thread out like so, pull it out like that, and boom, you can crochet. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now the good thing about these tubs, they're waterproof, they're dirt proof. Uh, I take my crocheting out on my porch. I take it up to my neighbors and sit in her yard sometimes and, and crochet while I talk to her. And uh, I know for a fact that I can sit this tub down anywhere, work with my yarn, no problem. My yarn doesn't get dirty, it doesn't get wet. You can take the tub, say to your kid's soccer game, your kid's softball game, your kid's football games, uh, chorus, whatever, cheerleading, whatever they're doing where you want to spend time crocheting, and you know, because you gotta be there anyway, you could take one of these tubs, set it down on the floor, and it will work perfectly. Please ignore the rash on my neck. Yes, I know it looks horrible. Uh, I'm, I have no idea what it is from. We, we can't figure it out to save our lives. I've used the same laundry soap for 20 something years. And uh, I don't think it's laundry soap. I think it's from uh, something else, but I don't know. I can't tell. Could be just I'm getting allergic to myself. Who knows? So anyway, next crochet tip. Okay, you're working at a project and you've got, you got to take your needle out or your needle falls out or you're going to carry it around. You don't want to lose your place or lose your stitch. So here's my next tip. Here's your stitch right there. Lay your stuff along here and use a hair clip. Boom. Just like that. Now your stitch is secure, it won't pull out, you know. I even tend to go through the loop itself like that. That way I'm sure the stitch will, even if it pulls a little bit, it won't pull completely out. So, and then I've got my yarn here, which I keep it skeined up like this. I shouldn't, I couldn't find the end of this and I started the project without thinking about rolling the ball in it, rolling it into a ball. I'm gonna put that aside over there. Now. I had a bag of hair clips and stuff from when I used to have long hair. 
I used to have very long hair and I dyed it frequently. I frosted it all the time. That's what those clips are for. They're laying around in my house and I'm sitting here thinking, I've got all these clips. Why don't I use them for something? So that was one of my ideas. My next one is how to keep your yarn from unraveling in the tub if it's in a ball. You know how it unravels and you get all those little, and they all get tangled up together. And then you got to spend a half an hour sorting it all out. Now if you use a hair clip to keep it down. Yep. Another little trip tip I'll give you if you don't have the hair clips like this. Package of bobby pins in your in Walmart or someplace like that is like a buck thirty-eight. Bobby pin. I take the clip off and show you. Take your end of your yarn like that. Take your bobby pin. Boom. Yeah. I know hair accessories for crochet. Who'd have thought? <laughs> So, I use that for that also. That is another use, but I really prefer their hair clips. Now, you can get these for a, a couple of bucks at the Dollar Tree. Your local dollar store has all kinds of hair clips and hair doodads and bobs, bobby pins and stuff. You can get these at the Dollar Tree. They're not expensive. They're easy to work with and boom. So... Let's say you need to mark a stitch. We're gonna use this as an example, okay? I need to mark this stitch. I don't have a stitch marker. Well, dang, what do I do? Okay, let me show you what you do. Get yourself now. These are big crochet uh, quilting clips. I don't have any handy uh, small safety clips right now, but this will work. Look, open it up, put it through your stitch. Boom, now your stitch is marked. Just like that, look at that. Your stitch is marked. And you can find it again, and you can count from that stitch on. So there. You need to uh, mark a line of stitches? Boom. Safety pin. There's your line of stitches right there. That works beautifully. Okay, now let's say, dang, I don't have a safety pin handy. Once again, your handy dandy bobby pin will come in handy. Because all you do is insert it through your stitch like so. Boom, your stitch is now marked. Easy peasy cheap. Ta-da. So those are just a couple of the tips that I have for stitch marking and all. Now, something else I did um, is, I, like I said earlier, I tend to put the needle in with my project. And I'm going to put the project back in the bin right now and show you what I mean, okay? Basically, what I do is I take my needle and I simply stick it into this skein of yarn that I'm using. Well, I didn't mean to stick it in quite that way. That was the wrong end. Never stick the hook in, end in. Stick the other end in. But I stick it in that way and boom. Now I have my crochet needle in the bucket. I can put the lid on. I can go to my friend's house and crochet. I can go to my grandkids' baseball games and crochet with no problem. Now... Another little trick I have is I have a little bag I made. These are super simple to make. This one's not even a good one. This one's a really bad one. But what I have in this little bag is needle, safety pins, stitch markers, and my thread yarner. Or my yarn. Boy, that didn't come out right. My yarn threader. Yeah, this is what you take and you put your yarn edge on the edge of it. You stick this through the eye of the needle. You see me do this in other videos. Stick it through there, pull your yarn through, and boom, your new needle is now threaded. This is my bits and bag, Bob's bag. I made this crochet. You don't have to. You can use a, any kind of little baggie you find. I've been known to use plastic uh, food storage bags. Uh, this, in fact, is a Christmas card holder. It's full Oh, hold on, I gotta open it and not spill them all out. It's full of safety pins, quilting pins, because I do quilt as well. So, so there you go. There's some tips and tricks on how to do your crocheting. Um, you know, all of this comes in very, very handy. Uh, I love it. In fact, all my, in fact, I've got a little bag here of hair implements. I make scrunchies out of these. 
these make scrunchies and I've got more clips if I need to clip projects it's just stuff I have around the house that when I run out of something I try to find another way to do it because not everybody's made of money these little these fancy little clips I bought and I'll show them to you they're cute they they're plastic though they tend to snag my yarn sometimes but these cute little clips I bought were I, I think I got 50 of them for 10 bucks. That's 10 bucks that a lot of us don't have for that kind of stuff. So, you know, anything in a pinch, it doesn't have to be perfect. Nobody said you have to be perfect in crocheting. And you really don't have to spend a lot of money either. I mean, $1.38 for some bobby pins, a couple of bucks for some safety pins, yeah cheap and easy. The tubs, I think I got that I got those off of Amazon and those were like 2 for $15. Now you can find them at Walmart too. Uh or at least you used to be able to. I didn't see them the last time I was there, but then I haven't been back for like 100 years, so uh I don't know if they have them again or not, but I know for a fact Amazon has them. So, Amazon has just about everything. You can buy these hair clips on Amazon. It's cheaper if you go to the Dollar Tree though, to be honest. Um, our dollar store is named Dollar Tree. Uh, dollar General is another one. Um, you know, we have all kinds of little Dollar Trees all over uh, the area. Ollie's, they usually have a lot of stuff that's inexpensive. Um, so it doesn't matter where you buy the stuff. You can buy it cheap. But you don't have to buy expensive crochet stuff. One other tip I will give you, though. Plastic needles are cheaper, but they snag your yarn. This is a really nice metal needle. It's very, very smooth. It's not got a real super sharp point, but it's got enough of a point that it will go through your crocheting really easily. And it'll either even go through stitches. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it'll go through stitches, which when you're tying off your yarn, a lot of time you want to go through the stitches because that gives you a more secure tie off. So anyway, there you go, guys. There's some tips and tricks for crochet. I hope they help you. I hope you see that you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money on crochet gizmos and gear because there's stuff around your house you can use. I've used twist ties to tie things off before. You know, there's a wonderful, you get when you get an electrical gadget, they're all plastic and nice. They work great. They're black. They show up on just about any yarn except for black. So those are some of the tips and tricks I have. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time, this is Lady DeWinter reminding you that you're never too old to innovate anything you're doing, and you don't have to spend a lot of money doing it either. Bye-bye for now.